Hi, I'm Jenny Repko with Cook's Essentials. You may have seen mandolin slicers out there and wondered, is it for me? Are they hard to put together? Is it complicated? Am I going to lose a finger? Well, I'm here to tell you they're very easy to use and very, very safe. What I'd like to do is run through the different blades that you get and also we'll put it together so you can see how easy it is to put together and how safe it is to use and really how efficient and how evenly your slices are going to turn out. What we've got here, we've got a french fry blade, and this is actually new to this model. And a lot of times what the problem is when you try to cut your own french fries, you're going to have them in wide widths and thin widths, and they're not going to cook evenly. So your french fries are going to be just okay. With a mandolin slicer, each one's going to be perfectly the right size. Then we offer three grating blades. There's a large grater, a medium grater, you can see the size of the holes will go down, and then a small grater. Now my mom and I have an interesting little competition going because we love to make carrot cake and she likes to grate her carrots on the large size so her carrot cake has a little more crunch to it and it's a little more weighty. Well I like to use the small grating blade so mine are real fine and you get the full flavor of carrot without the crunch. So you can kind of personalize and do it how you like, it. you know, make it your way. It's kind of the way to do it. The other neat blades are your julienne blades. And what these are, they'll give you like a matchstick kind of look. You've probably seen them in restaurants. It's great to use in stir fries or if you want to impress anybody that's coming over to your house. Use the julienne. We have a large and a small and slice your carrots and maybe your zucchinis like that and throw it on top of a salad. They're, they're going to think you're a master chef because a lot of us don't have great knife skills. So the mandolin slicer does it for you effortlessly, easy, and really fast too. And where do you see the speed on this. The other blade that we have is, of course, this one's my favorite. This is a, just your basic slicer blade. I did use this just last night and I made grilled vegetables. I did zucchini and squash and eggplant. In a matter of less than 30 seconds, my little drawer was filled with perfectly even sliced vegetables. I brushed them with a little bit of olive oil, some fresh garlic, and in five minutes I had beautifully grilled vegetables and my family went crazy. They loved it. The other option we have for that blade is a slicer insert. So you can see the depth here. It's rather thick, which was great for my grilling, but just slide this in and it reduces the depth. So now you have a th you know, thinner slices and this is awesome for homemade potato chips because you get really thin slices if you wanted to do potatoes and make, make those homemade potato chips. This is your ice shaver. This is really thin, but you just throw ice cubes down the chute that I'm going to show you in a second, and you can make snow cones. It's a lot of fun for the kids. They like making it themselves and then, of course, adding different flavors. Or if you like carrot curls or that kind of thing, again, this is like paper, paper thin on this one. And you can't get that kind of work done in it with a knife. It's really difficult. So what we're going to do is put this together now. You've got your roller blade, not blade, but roller insert, and there's a little two tabs that stick up, so make sure those are, are facing upward. And I'm going to slice an apple to show you. There's a hole in the slicer blade, in all the blades, and you simply just put it, attach it on top, and it, it fits right in there. You lay it in your base, which has a very cool drawer that pulls out. Then you take your lid, put the lid on, and then your motor housing unit. There's two holes and two wedges that stick up. That just pops right on. And then these are your food chutes. And there's different sizes in here. I'll show you how those work. But you simply drop them in. And basically your unit is assembled. So I'm going to slice the apple. And as you can see at the top, there's different openings, size openings. Well, the apple's not fitting in any of those. So we're just going to go to the very last one and drop it down in. And there's little points in here. I don't know if you can see those or not, but there's little jabbed points. That's what grabs the food and really gets, helps you push it down. You hold it at the top with the food pusher and push the button and are you ready? Don't blink because it'll be over soon. There we go. It's done. And here's the beauty of the mandolin slicer. Every slice is evenly, even thickness and you can dry those and they'll t all turn out perfectly. Now I'm going to show you how fast and easy the french fry blade works. We're going to use the big chute. Just drop your potato in, push it down, put the hole the top, push your button, and are you ready? That was so easy we're going to do another one because who doesn't love french fries? We're going to make a lot of them. Okay, let's show you how these turned out. Oh my gosh. Every one is evenly sliced. Look at this. And I love the fact that you can leave the skin on there. Now I wanted to show you some thick julienne slices using a carrot. Just drop it in your food chute, 
Hold the top, push down, push your button. Okay, slide your drawer open and just look at the even slices. You try and do that with a knife, it's virtually impossible. These are beautiful. Now we're going to grate some soft cheese using the large grater blade. Okay, let's see what the results are. Beautifully, evenly grated cheese. Great for pizza, on top of your salad. We just put in the small grating blade and I have a small piece of hard Parmesan cheese. Let's see what the results on this one is. Wow, look at all that with that small piece of cheese. Delicious. So thanks for watching our demonstration with the Cook's Essential Mandolin Slicer. Hopefully you're more comfortable and at ease and you'll have great results. Thanks again. I'm Jenny Repco with Cook's Essentials.